because you know it's kind of easy to kind of say all the basic things that a product manager should be doing so you want to be a product manager you are applying to jobs i'm always hoping that somebody will answer you and interview you but uh, it's kind of frustrating and it's difficult to get those early interviews to even start to be part of the process probably most of us have been there and it's really frustrating to be in that situation but let's go through one thing that can help you improve your chances so first of all just let's be honest there is not a one solution that will actually help you to get into those interviews uh, all the time. That just doesn't exist such a thing. But there are certain things that you can do uh, to improve the chances that you have to start to be interviewed. And realistically, many times what you need is to get into those first interviews to also sometimes just get the practice. It's not that easy sometimes to get the actual position. Sometimes it requires you to go through those interviews and learn how the process goes and improve upon that. But today let's go into the one of the things that I think that from my point of view, at least when I'm recruiting, product managers or for different product roles, I pay a lot of attention when people actually mention this. So from my point of view, when I'm recruiting for product roles, I typically receive a lot of applications. So typically the applications can be in many different forms and shapes. Sometimes they come with cover letters. Sometimes even the actual resume or the CV comes with a ton of information. And sometimes it's a very, very, very brief description of the role. There's a lot of things that can be done with the resume or with the CV, depends on where, how you call it. I never know who calls it one way or another. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Maybe one of these British and American English type of thing, I just don't know. <laughs> but there is one thing that at least for me always makes me very interested in a specific candidate when I see this. And this is when they link a product portfolio. Why is this important? If I see a product portfolio, actually I get to see much more how that person thinks and works and plans the way that they work than if I just get it by words uh, in the actual CV or if I get it in the cover letter. Usually when you see the portfolio, you just see things more in action, understand how they are planning, how they are prioritizing, something that is very difficult to actually be able to validate or understand when they are just putting it into words. Because, you know, it's kind of easy to kind of say all the basic things that a product manager should be doing. But that doesn't mean that you know how to do them. And it's funny because for us, product management people is very different from product designers. Product designers have been relatively easy. They just can put some kind of pro, uh, some kind of portfolio which is very visual and easy to see. When it comes to product portfolio for a product manager, what is your product portfolio? It's not so easy to define what your product portfolio is because sometimes you and most of the time you're working in a project from a company, which means that you cannot disclose that. So it makes the whole thing quite challenging. But there are many ways that you can approach for a portfolio. So a while ago, I started documenting how I work and how do I manage my channel, my YouTube channel into Notion. You could consider that this is a way, some kind of pro portfolio, although it's not necessarily my case, but you could see it from a recruitment point of view that this is kind of a pro portfolio because it tells how am I trying to plan the product, in this case, the channel? What is the vision that I'm setting? What are the strategies that are going to help me to get to that vision? Or my pro from my point of view, obviously, what is the user personas that I'm targeting when creating this channel? In a way, what we're, I'm doing is basically defining like a pitch deck for my YouTube channel and then going on into more detail. I'm doing this because I want to share it and also document the journey with you guys so you can actually go and see that from a maybe more structured point of view than typically a video is going to be. But for example, a video, a YouTube channel sharing your thoughts about how you work and about what you understand on product management, that also could be a pro portfolio. Other examples of pro portfolios is if you have your side project whichever your side project it is. You can always manage a side project as a product. And that thing, if you document it and you share it, that can be considered as a product portfolio. And for me, it would be a valid example. This can be sometimes your hobbies or potentially even if you are creating your own app or whatever it is, any kind of project that you're running that you do could document and it could make it very clear for somebody to understand the ways that you are working. And why is it very important for me to actually see this product portfolio is because typically when you see CVs and especially if you get lots of applications, many times most of them are going to look very similar. There's going to be very going to be very subtle differences between one another. But when you actually get a product portfolio, then it's much easier to understand 
how this person stands out from the crowd and how this person works differently from the others. So if possible, whenever you're going to apply to a new position, try to have a product portfolio that is going to help them understand how you work. And remember, you can do this based on many things. It can be your own hobbies, your own projects, personal projects, whatever it is that you can manage in a way as a product. This is going to help people understand much better how you're working and potentially is going to catch their eye. At least I would always pay attention to that. I am a product director and I have been recruited for different product roles over the years. If you want to see what is the perspective from the recruiter's point of view, go and check out this video. I will see you in the next one and remember, stay safe.